Scroll groups in Adobe XD allow you to prototype a window of content that can be scrolled horizontally, vertically, or in both directions. This can be really handy when you're building out UI elements like a carousel of images, a list of items, or an interactive map. Let me show you what I mean. I have an artboard here that I'm working on in Adobe XD. I've already gone in and added my top level navigation and my footer navigation, and I want both of them to be pinned or fixed as content scrolls from underneath it. So for that, I'll come in and select the top level navigation, and here in the Properties Inspector, I'll set it to Fix Position When Scrolling, and I'll do the same with that bottom group, Fix Position Within Scrolling. Next, what I want to do is focus on this content that I have here towards the right. What I want to have happen is that you're going to scroll down on the artboard, but as you come along, I want a carousel behavior across it or horizontally in the design. Working with scroll groups is incredibly simple. All I need to do is come in and select the objects that I want to be part of the scroll group. With them selected here in the Properties Inspector, I just need to determine is this a horizontal scroll or vertical scroll or both directions. When I click on the horizontal icon, notice on the desktop that I now have these two blue handles on the left and right. This allows me to define the scroll window, almost like a mask behavior with an image. So I can come in and press and drag until it's a little bit smaller, more along the lines of my artboard. I'll just do it roughly for now and we'll refine it in just a moment. I want to come into this second carousel here towards the middle. I'll press and drag to select all five of them. And then here in the Properties Inspector, again, define it as a horizontal scroll. And I'll press and drag to bring it down to the width of my artboard, roughly speaking. With that set, I now want everything that you see here to scroll within my header and footer area that I've defined in this area on the artboard. So for that, I'll come in and press and drag to select everything I have on the canvas. And once again, here in the Properties Inspector, I want this to be not a horizontal scroll, but a vertical scroll. So I'll click and release to define that. I see my handles come up. I can press and drag up. What I want to do is get this really right into that nested area between my two bits of navigation. So let's make it a bit smaller. I'm going to bring it onto the design canvas. And let's get in more tightly on that design canvas. I'm going to come here to that scroll area and just press and drag until it pretty much snaps below my top level nav. I'll press and drag down so that the bottom area sits just below or just alongside that footer content. In the layers panel, when I open that up, I want to make sure that the scroll group is going to actually sit behind both the header and the footer. In fact, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and press and drag this scroll group area so it's longer. And I'm going to make sure that that footer stays on top. It will flow underneath the content that I see. So with that all set, let's come over here to select the artboard. And here in the upper right-hand corner of the app, bring up the desktop preview. Here with the desktop preview, I can come in and just press and drag up as though I'm scrolling down on my artboard. Notice that my top level navigation remains fixed. If I come to that first carousel that I've defined, I can come in and just press and drag horizontally to see the carousel there. If I press and drag down further, I can do the same with the second carousel that I defined. In fact, I went in and defined another example that I thought was interesting. Notice here I have an overlay that I've defined. I want it to be such that when you hit the search button here in the design, it's going to bring up that overlay. And in the overlay, I actually went in and defined another scroll group. So when I come here back to the prototype and click on that overlay, it slides up from the bottom. And from here, I can come in and press and drag to interact with that carousel design. Now, the best part of this feature is, of course, the elegance with which the XD team has integrated throughout the product. I just showed you how you can define a scroll group in an overlay. You can also work with scroll groups with components. You can use it with component states. You can also use it with auto animate. It just integrates really beautifully with the design work that you're doing. Scroll groups help you create prototypes that look and work like the real thing and help you communicate your intent to your stakeholders. I encourage you to give this feature a try.